this is really pretty to start with. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 32, Faces, Part 2. In today's episode, we did experiments going back to spatial recordings, water spatial recordings. We made two more improvisations in the scale that we're working in, which you just heard uh, one of them. So regarding uh, water spatial recordings, we experimented. We decided to try to do what we would call a um, spatial recording where we hit a high pass filter, a low pass filter, and a middle pass filter. And what that looks like over here is um, this is what you call a high pass filter because everything from a thousand hertz up gets through and the rest gets blocked. Uh, the low pass is below 300 gets passed and then we kind of split the middle and said if it's between 300 and um, a thousand let it in and then there's kind of a little tail off area and the reason we did that is because there's a theory that when you do vertical stereo things that are emphasizing the high frequency sound high and the low frequencies sound low and the middle sounds like it's in front of you so we experimented with that so let's play for you what we came up with first of all we recorded some water uh, some quiet water and this is what it sounds like what they call dry nothing done Now, this is when we have passed it the same recording and just given it three different emphases and then pushed them back together. And the question is, do we hear a difference, uh, same or different, and if it's different, how? So let's compare them side by side. Dry. Spatial, dry, spatial. And we would say it sounds a little more clear, in a, a little more high frequency-ish in there. But if you, when we went back to the digital audio workstation to listen to them one by one, you can hear a clear difference. We're going to play that for you in a minute. Then we also had some so the quiet water was water that was very gently bubbling over some uh, hummocks of land. Then we recorded some water that was going through some rocks, more like white water. This is the dry. And now the wet. Dry. Wet. So again, there's a noticeable difference, and we kind of liked the feeling of it. We're not sure that it made it feel like it was any more vertically spread to us, but it just felt somehow more interesting and clear. And also, like, let's note that the original recordings are stereo. There's a left and a right microphone on the phone, and there is a left and a right spread in there if you listen to it. So then we said, why don't we take one of our improvisations and dry and wet? Listen to it again. A little fuller. So if we look at what's actually happening in here, this is the one we're just listening to. Um, this is what all three together sound like. Uh, 
and this is what the original sounds like. Very subtle. So what we started doing is we said, well, let's just listen to it when it goes through the high filter. There's the low. Middle. Now the middle's the loudest because that tends to be where our piano has most of its oomph. But what we've kind of artificially done is kind of, we've shaped the original pass was straight. You know, the original pass, um, we could show you what that looks like here. If we don't do anything, that's what it looks like. Straight across, every, every frequency is allowed through, okay? And instead, what we did, all right, just remove that, okay. Instead, what we did, and we showed this to you a few seconds ago, now we've pushed, we've pushed a shape on it. We've blocked out the bottom and said, you, only you shall pass. And that, interestingly, forming or imposing a form or shape on something is the meaning of the word face. Who knew? So we did all that. And, and we, we particularly enjoyed adding it to our music. This, um, which you just heard, was Improvisation 4, and that is based on figures generated earlier with some new stuff added. So that whole thing got put here, Improvisation 4. We've, we've really been expanding and our ability to work with improvisations and defining our terms. And uh, you've just heard the first figure here. Um, let's play the whole thing for you. But we have a part two down here. All of those are from the scale, four, five, five, four, five, five, six. And they sound similar and different. This is the third very third part. And the ending, just to cut to the chase, is and then to end it all. And this one was interesting because you can see we threw a bunch of repeats in, we, we added some new figures, and we were reminded of the, of the word based from sewing. Well, based also means to cook a turkey, but it turns out based has three different me meanings. It means to baste in cooking, it means to paste someone one, and it also means to loosely sew something together when you're making a, a new, a composing a new garment. And that's literally what we were doing. We're kind of loosely sewing our pieces together way back from one of our earlier pieces of work, this one, where we had just generated all this from the 3D piano kit. And we kind of picked the pieces we liked and then we basted them into place over here and we actually came up with something we liked. Speaking of that, we also today came up with Improvisation 3, where we basted things directly from the tonality reference area and then made some new backbone. So what we'd like to do is close on this one and that'll take us home. So here we go. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are, whoa, to be determined. 
we spent a lot of time on these things today. Um, what we like is how sweet this improvisation three sounds with the harmony added. And um, uh, da -da 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 seems to be a really, that's a hook of hooks. You just can't get it out of our minds. We'd like to acknowledge Ralph the 13th, or he's Ralph X the third, one or the other. Thanks for stopping by. Mr. Spatz, stop by. It's always good to see you. Look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Do come back. Do take care and do keep on streaming.